So I decided to give Pro Tools first, the free, extremely limited DAW from Avid, another go. I will leave a link in the description where you can check it out and download and give it a try as well. You will need to create a free Avid account and you can click and download it, which I will do later on. But I just want to see what are the key features different from Pro Tools first, the free one, into the $30 US a month version and the $80 a month version between the Pro Tools and Pro Tools Ultimate. So we have four input output compared to the rest. Still 16 mono or stereo tracks. Then we have 16 MIDI tracks, 16 instrument tracks, 16 auxiliary tracks. We don't have any folders. We don't have any video support. We have 24 buses, mono or stereo. We have 23 plugins included. And we've got 3.1 gigabytes of included sound and can go to the sampling rate of 96 kilohertz and 32 bit. I've logged into my account and now I can download Pro Tools first, 2021.6 installer for Windows. And I will try to download all of the other things that are required and we'll see how we go. With downloading and installing the software, I did download Pro Tools first, but I thought it would probably a better idea to also download Avid Link, which is another software. Again, you can just download it for free from your Avid account, install that, that pretty much helps you to, uh, to download any other products that Avid provides under your account, free or paid. So that's what I'm doing now, just going to install. Yes, I agree, you can have my uh, appendix <laughs> and install. So personally, I would recommend you download Avid Link as well. One thing with Avid Link, it will always run in the background, checking for updates and things, but you can turn this off and you probably want to turn it off if you don't use Pro Tools or Avid all the time. And when it's running first time, it will ask you, would you like to send usage and diagnostic data? Um, automatically selected no. Um, apps and plugins installation, install apps silently. Yeah, I guess. Update apps automatically. Sure, why not? I accept the terms. And OK. Oh, I guess I'll have to um, put my username and a password. Well, I do that, just like you can do that as well. And I'll take you on next step. OK, ignore my last comment. That was so that you can allow Avid Link to take control and to be able to download and install updates of any software and plugins and that username and the password is your computer's name and password, not the Avid account password. So I realized. So unless you want Avid Link to, to have administrative access to your computer, just like me, cancel and ignore. You can manually download and install it anytime. So this is what Avid links look like. Here are my products, what I can download and install. Marketplace, so you can actually purchase plugins that also work in Pro Tools first. Of course, if you pay Avid, they will allow you to use those plugins in there. Technically, you could just install Avid link and from Avid link, you can download Pro Tools first. Here you can actually see I also have Media Composer first that I could download and install the free graphic EQ that Avid gives it for free, and Expand 2 that you can also download and install, which is a VST instrument. So I'm going to go ahead, install Pro Tools first, which I have already downloaded, and I'll get back to you shortly. While I'm installing Avid Pro Tools first, 2021.6 edition, I just thought I'll mention that even though Pro Tools first is free, you will still require an iLock account a free iLock account. You just simply visit iLock.com, download that iLock manager software, and you can put the license, the key that Avid gives you in your Avid account in there that will allow Pro Tools first to run. So if you do get stuck with iLock or Pro Tools not running and iLock is giving you errors, feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to help you out or someone with more experience than me with iLock can help you out as well. Yep, this time you can have my kidneys. <laughs> Let's install Pro Tools first. 
Yay, I've got Pro Tools first installed. Let's click finish. Must start. Okay, I guess I have to restart. And I do have Pro Tools first icon there. Yeah, I'm not sure what these projects are. We'll find out later on. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, I've got Pro Tools installed. Avid link running. It tells me that Pro Tools first is installed and I can click and open it. The next I think I want to do is also install my graphic EQ so we can have a look at it while we are using uh, Pro Tools first. And it also installed expand to the VST instrument. Oh, clicking OK, now it's downloading. And it requires administrative level authentication is needed to complete the installation. OK. <laughs> Right, I guess Avid League does want control of my PC. Well, at the moment, you're not going to get it. Not during this demonstration. So let's run Pro Tools first and see what we can find. Well, after clicking a couple times on the button, and it just came up with the normal message that uh, Windows comes up when you are installing a software to give, uh, you know, authority authentication. And I said, yep, sure. And now it's all ready to go. Yep. Okay, that is all good. Perfect. Of course, running it for the first time, it will ask you your email and password. These are the same email and password that you would have used to create your Avid account. If you click, keep me signed in, that way it won't bug you every time. And here we are, the first questionnaire. Welcome to Pro Tools First. Before you get started, you will be directed to the playback engine. Please make sure that the proper audio playback device is selected. That is your audio interface. In this case, most likely it's going to show my Yamaha AG03. That's the audio interface that I'm using. That's what you're hearing me from now. And that's what Pro Tools will look at it as well. So let's click OK. And here, playback engine. Unless you don't have any audio interface, you can select Windows audio device, but I want to select my Yamaha Seinberg USB ASIO driver. Or if you don't have any driver, most likely ASIO for all will also do for you. So I'm just going to select that one. And it's my AG03, default output one and two. Sample rate 44.1, it's good enough for me. And here we go asking us again, would you like to send usage and diagnostic data to Avid to help us improve products and services? Now, this is up to you, um, whether you want to send any information. Personally, especially it's a free software, I would have to say no, because they will try to collect as much as information as they can. Not sure how much of personal information there will be. There's your private policy you can read, but I'm just going to say no, thank you. And we get the same dashboard that we can create or open. Uh, project list is empty. Create. Again, we've got the backup to cloud option there after three projects of it. But uh, if we don't select, I believe, like before, it'll be just saving it locally. And that's what the instruction said the last time I used Pro Tools first. So I'm just going to create a blank one. And I'm just going to say my first song. I'm not going to select back up to cloud because I want it to save locally. And let's create. Could not save 000 because ascension in DWS with some odd numbers. <laughs> Already we've got some errors here, uh, and I've just run it for the first time. So I'm not sure what that means. Use a copy to message to the clipboard so that you can send it to them. Okay. Right. Blank screen. Um, <laughs> okay, let's create a new project again. Let's try it again. Test this time. And we are getting the same error. Well, I will chase this up and find out what the hell is going on, why it would not even create. But I'm just going to try one more time. But this time, I'm just going to say um, my...
first song. Oops. My first song. And I'm just going to say back up to the cloud. I wonder if that's going to fix that problem. No, I'm still getting an error. If somebody already has this error and has a solution, comment below and let me know. Until then, I can't use Pro Tools first. Well, that sucks. A quick search on Avid Knowledge Base. Obviously, this problem does occur. And it's asking me to uninstall Expand 2 from your control panel, restart the PC and launch Pro Tools first. If it launches, download Expand 2 from the marketplace and install it again. Hmm. Okay. We shall give that a try. One thing I should mention that if I go to File and Open Project, I can see all the projects that I've created, but obviously when I double click, they still don't open. They just blank screen. Well done, Abbott.